Alright everyone, welcome back. So today I have a fun little project for us, but I would like to mention that this video is actually being made in between another video. So um, by the time this comes out, I don't think that video will be ready yet. And that is the, uh, I am working on the interior of the castle. So I have done a lot of work inside there, but I don't want to spoil it. We have this really large space out here. Now, what this space was meant to be is this was supposed to be a garden. And so I wanted to make that today to kind of just add a little bit more to the exterior before we fully transition to making the inside of the castle. So today's project is going to be working out here and making the castle garden. It's going to be a ton of fun, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm super excited. Uh, I have an idea of what I want to do, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, we need to design... Uh, the main path so uh, I'll give you the plan of what I'm thinking which is I'm going to have this main path running through this thing with hedges on the side and then there are going to be these quartz slash white arches of some sort uh, and there's going to be like five of them that's going to overhang the path and then we'll have this small little like grotto and gazebo thing over here so um, I guess we can start by making the uh, path in the middle. So I do want to line it up with that block right there. And then I'm going to dig uh, a whole line of three down there and we'll place all of these polished andesite slabs. And now that I see that, I think five would be much better. All right, so there we go. That's what I was talking about. So now we kind of have a main pathway right here. I really like how this whole area is kind of flat. Um, I feel like it just looks really cool. But uh, now I want to add like some sort of hedges on the side here. We can always uh, reuse these. I'm just going to save them for now. Um, but I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this. I want some sort of line over here with leaves. That's like a hedgerow type thing. Uh, to line this whole section, but I would also love to have this kind of separate uh, over here and so maybe there's like another little path that way and then maybe we can do another little path over um, I don't know. We'll just do something like that for now. Um, I should probably build the arches first now that I'm thinking about that So that's our main kind of thing here. All right, so now I'm going to attempt to make these arches. So I have quite a different selection of blocks that I'm going to choose from here. So I'll show you what we've got. Uh, and I think it's going to go a little something like this. So I'm going to start with this block on the base. And then we're going to move up to andesite. So uh, this block being tough. So we'll go from tough to andesite. And then I'm thinking diorite and then polish diorite at the top. So we have this kind of gradient right here. I haven't decided yet, but I think I might also use, um, maybe I have all this leftover calcite, right? There's so much of it. Um, so I could also add that into the equation. Um, it, like if we go from this diorite to polish diorite to the calcite, that's a very white block you can see. So I might do something like that. Uh, there so uh, now the the hard part of all of this is getting the shape of it, right? So that's what's gonna take me a long time So what I think I'm gonna do is kind of plan this out with you guys um, So I think probably one two three Like that and then one two three bam and so kind of having it start Right there is probably good and then we'll go three four five blocks this be at the bottom of the arch so i don't want this to be too close to each other that would leave a three block gap so i don't want that i want it to be a little more so we want one two three four five and that's where we want our block to sit so i believe that's a seven block gap if i'm not mistaken so um we have that kind of spacing right there that is much better so we'll just count five in between the stairs one two three four five bam and do that right there. You can fill in a lot of this stuff. I don't even know how this... Oh, those were the other pathways. We'll do that later. Um, let's build the arches first. Because you can see why I wanted to do that. Is Now I can see where the clear pathways are. Uh, which is much better. So 
Uh, I'm going to get to work on making these arches. I'm just going to copy this thing on the both sides and then we'll build one together. So now that those are done, let's get all of our blocks together here. So uh, this is what I don't really know how I'm going to do. So it's going to be a little difficult for me. Let's grab a few more of these. We could use that. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this here. I haven't really thought about it, but I think... Uh, if we get all these blocks, um, you can see this is the gradient we're using. So we're going from tough to andesite to diorite to polished diorite and then to calcite. So uh, I think I'm just going to go, I'm going to do it random for each one, a little bit different. So I, I'm going to go up one for this and then maybe we'll go up two and then up one. And then I think that's where, so how many was that? That was four blocks up. So then I'm going to place a stair and then I'm going to go up two. and let me actually get some of this in here. Then I'm going to go up two again. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm kind of doing this on the fly. So I went up two and then up two, and then so probably we can go up one and then up one again and now we should be somewhat in the middle that's our middle point right there so then we can why don't we just do something like this where we uh kind of match it together like that so i'll put that there for reference so we have half of it now so you can kind of see that is the style that i'm going for and i want to have a bunch of these so uh the important bit is that that lines up with the middle which i think it does that looks like it does there so uh, we can always make adjustments to it after but um i want to do this one a little bit differently with the gradient so let's do i went up two that time let's do three let's let's really get up there and then we'll do this and then we can do the diorite stair and kind of just keep going until this ends up working out yeah, that looks very nice. Very interesting looking. I think that's pretty cool. So we'll keep it like that. I want it to look weathered and old. So that's why I chose those type of blocks. I think that looks really cool. So now we just kind of got to repeat that a few times. So if I can take a look and see how I did this. So it's one, two, three, four, and then two, and then two, and then one, one stair. So if I can just remember that pattern, we should be good to go. Let's remake this about five more times. All right, there is the arches completed. You can see how this looks now. I actually really like the way this turned out. It looks much better when it's not raining, but we'll have to deal with that for the time being. So now I want to design uh, more of what this is going to look like in here. So um, it's going to be a little tricky, I think, because we don't really have anything that makes good bushes in Minecraft. So uh, we're going to have to get creative here to find a way to make some hedgerows, but we can install the path that I was talking about. So uh, I think I'm going to have that be this direction right here like that. And then we'll have another little one going off this way. All right. So behind this, I think I'm going to make some sort of wall here. Uh, I'm going to make it out of diorite first, but then what I'm going to do is actually uh, texture it and make it different. So, um, this is going to be a little tricky because I don't know how exactly I'm going to do this, but I have an idea in my head. I just don't know what the spacing I want for it to be. So we could either do it right there, but I feel like that's very close to that. We could go two. I'm not so sure I like the two because that's an even number. Or we could go three and we have an even number right there of gap spacing. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to place a block and then a stair and then a block and then a stair. So we have something that looks kind of like that. And then just keep repeating that pattern over and over again. Okay, so there we go. Now we have that border. You can see how I've done that. But I want to use a lot of uh, not these blocks here, but I want to use what we've got here with the polished diorite and the white wool to kind of change this up. So I think I'm just going to go through and kind of select random ones and kind of just 
change it up here and there and make it look a little different. I didn't mean to break both of those, but uh, just kind of something like this. Maybe go in here and add some white wool and just kind of change that wall up so that it's different in each spot. All right, so there we go. I actually really like how that wall turned out. So now we have a nice little border there. You can kind of get a visual reference of what is the garden and what isn't. So uh, I do want to use birch leaves to decorate this whole thing. I don't think I have any of those. So we'll have to take a little trip here and grab some of that. So let's empty our inventory and let's fly to the birch forest. Okay, before we add the hedges in, I would just make sure I don't forget to do this here. So I'd like to make sure I don't forget to do this, which is I wanted to have some sort of gazebo thing here. So if I can ever so slightly try and create this, I don't know how. Okay, so let's make this gazebo now. So I think it's going to be like that. So we have a three gap thing here with these andesite stairs and then we go out one and then one two three and then that's why i wanted to figure this out because i was figuring i had to destroy those and so there's the three then the one gap and then one two three one uh now put in the hedges so i feel like these look like little tiny birch trees and i feel like it just looks really cool it just kind of matches the whole vibe we're going here vibe we're going for here there we go that's what i was trying to say so um if we didn't make any mistakes we could place all of these like so so now you can see we have something like that which is originally what i was going for it's going to look really cool once it's finished once it is finished trust me i am struggling to put my words together so um i also wanted to kind of add a few in these uh a few of these in here just like sprinkled throughout all right, so we're getting somewhere. I like the look of that. I'm just wondering what if these were two tall instead of one tall? I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts on that. I, I feel like the one tall looks better. So, all right, so that's what we've got now. I'm really liking how that is looking. That is pretty sweet. So uh, I'm happy with that. Now, the image that I am refer referencing this off of has some sort of water stream in the middle. It's not a Minecraft build, um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to replicate this in Minecraft, but I would at, like, at least like to try it here. So I think I'm going to go three blocks in from the edge and dig out all of this. Uh, I just realized we're going to need blocks to fill this in. We can just temporary, temporarily put that down in there i just don't know how this water is going to um log with with these blocks so i don't know how this is going to work all right so that is what it would look like i don't know how i feel about that um <laughs> it's kind of cool is it really cool though that's the problem um all right so the tricks i'm going to use is for one let's hop right in here and let's grab some smooth stones. So uh, what I'm going to do is make some buttons and pressure plates. And we're going to use those as like little stones. All right. So I've got some stone buttons and stone pressure plates. And I think this is going to be really cool. If we just go along this and kind of place them at random intervals and just kind of throw them wherever. I feel like this is going to be a really cool way to create some... Uh, kind of stone patterns and whatnot inside of this little pathway and it's going to add texturing as you can see so that makes it look not as bare as it was so we'll do this for all sides over here all right so i want to have this tree uh be somewhere over here and i want it to be out of the way of everything i don't want it to be inside this perimeter so i think i want to put it right in here somewhere so i'm going to go up three blocks and make sure to strip these logs here so there's one and there's two and three and then we're basically going to do the same thing we did over there with those guys so all right so there we go that tree's finished but i do want to add a little detail on the bottom here which i saw b-dubs doing which he was adding buttons to the trunk so i feel like that's a really cool way to kind of give the um actual thing some dimension so i'm just going to add 
some buttons in there. I don't think we can rotate them, right? I think they can only be placed in that orientation. So I'm going to do that for all of these uh, and just kind of add a few buttons here and there to, uh, you know, make it just look a little bit more like there's little, little stubs growing on it or something like that. Some more detail to the trunk. All right. And now we've got something like that. I really like that. So uh, we have that one tree there, which I'm uh, very happy with. And then I kind of want to make some smaller ones that are almost like bushes in a sense. So um, I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I was thinking something like, um, you know, almost like a bush. That's what I was picturing. So uh, maybe we can place three logs like this, right? And then we'll strip them. And so uh, we're going to kind of make our own design here. So uh, something like maybe that and then... Uh, that'll be like the branches of the bush and then we can take this and go all the way around and so now we kind of have a design like that and then we can just go up top here and then what we'll do is at random points we'll just kind of add like the bush is kind of growing over itself and you know like a regular bush would be so uh, I feel like that is uh, a pretty cool way of doing that right there. And so now we have something like that. That's a nice little bush on the side there in front of the building. So I'm happy with that. We've got some lush green things around here. But now to build the main focus, we need to build that thing that's in there. So uh, what I think I'm going to use is the quartz block because this is a nice white block. Very, very present. And um, I'm going to use a mix of andesite walls and diorite walls all right so now let me show you what i was going to do with this gazebo so i've got a, a pretty interesting block palette here so you can see what i have i've got andesite walls diorite walls quartz slabs and polished diorite slabs and what i was thinking before we run out of daylight here was that we could have um these kind of walls be at the corners here right like so and then build this up and then build a roof over it. So uh, I'm going to kind of place them at random heights here, kind of like this. And you'll see why in a second. So we can go up like that. And then I'm going to take the diorite walls and use those. And that's what's going to connect to the roof. All right. So now if we build up here, we can start connecting this. I just want to go uh, one higher, I think, is pretty good. So now everything's at the diorite level, and then we're going to take the quartz slabs and kind of place these uh, around like so. And we're essentially just going to build a dome roof over this like a gazebo would have. So uh, kind of something a little like this right here. Very simple. Nothing crazy at all. Um, and then I just want to see from the bottom what that looks like if we need to do a little bit more. So... I feel like we do need to just take it out one more layer. I was kind of figuring we needed to do that. So uh, something like that should be fine. Uh, hopefully it'll look fine if it's all on the same layer like that. So if we step back. Uh, no, I think we could go down one actually. So I think we could uh, go down one and do something like this. So we'll go on the top half of this block right here. And then what we're going to do is go through and texture this a little bit by adding some different blocks in there. So uh, now you can see we have that ring across there that's going to be much more of a domed roof. That's what I was going for. So that's very nice looking. Okay, there we go. So that is that finished. I really, really like how that turned out. And uh, I didn't really have a plan for this, but I wanted something to be here. So I don't know what I'm going to put inside of this. If you guys have any suggestions as to what I should put in here, uh, please be sure to let me know. As for now, I'm kind of just going to leave it the way it is. And uh, maybe we can like hang a light from there or something like that. There's a lot of white and pink going on here. So I feel like these could look good, but I'm going to kind of like sprinkle them throughout over here like this. Like I don't want them to be all that often i'm just gonna add them little by little off to the side here like this all right so there we go that's a lot more elegant on the outside now i was thinking just for one of them i don't want to do it for all but just for one of these we could hang a little leaf and i think i'm going to do it on this third one right here so let's get our scaffolding out 
and I'm going to pillar up like this. And basically what I was trying to explain was that I'm going to have some leaves hanging off of the side of this one. So I think I'm just going to put it on this block right here. And we'll do the same thing for this side. We'll have one side droop lower than the other. So maybe this side goes down that many blocks. And then this side goes down maybe something like this. And if I really like it, I'll do it for the rest of them. So uh, let's take a step back here and see what that looks like. That's kind of what I was envisioning. I would like to have a little more of that now that I see it. Maybe, uh, maybe one right here as well. That's... The biggest point of all this is we want to have them be offsetting. We don't want this to look very symmetrical. So uh, that that is pretty good. That is pretty good right there. That's about what I was picturing for the gardens of this place. I really like that. I would like to add a tree right there, though. So fortunately, need a little bit more birch leaves to get that done. Um, and so we'll add one more tree and then we'll be done for the day. All right. I don't know how it's going to look, but I'm going to attempt it first which is I'm going to add some rose bushes very gently here and there. Just not that many of them, less than four or five of them, I think. Ooh, I think I've got to keep that. That looks really, really good. All of those colors work really well together. The red, the pink, the white. Uh, I'm absolutely loving how this turned out. Uh, it's just very ethereal looking that is uh the best way i can explain it so i really really like that i feel like that needs more leaves over there like i don't know maybe something drooping from right there uh but i'm gonna go and get the stuff to build another tree so we can take care of that in a second we'll make this look nice another time but uh, i definitely want to carve this hill out a little bit but I've got what we need. Let's make another tree. Uh, and I want it to be right in that sight line right there. So let's calculate this nicely. So if we run to about right here, uh, it's probably somewhere around right here is where this tree needs to be. So three, two, one. All right. And there we go. There's our other tree. I would actually like to Kind of sink this down one. Nobody saw that. There we go. All right. So now we've got one over there and one over there, uh, which is right in that sight line we want. And then I wanted to hang something from right here. So we can get up there. I think I'm going to put it right around here. Honestly, I'm really going to have this one kind of droop down. I think somewhere around this region right here is pretty good. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's pretty okay. That's about the sight line I was going for right there, this. So uh, I really, really, really like how that turned out. Uh, that was a super fun build to do today. So I believe that is going to be it for today. There may be some stuff that I add in the future here and there, but that is the basis of what we were trying to do. So in the comments below, please be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on today's build. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not, if you think there's some things we could improve on it. I'm really, really happy with how this one turned out. I think it's super cool. So here is our new building. If you haven't watched that episode, please be sure to go and check it out. We built this really cool thing going on over here. So today's comment of the day comes from CBMX Gaming, and they say, I love that your build style is advanced enough to be impressive, but not so outlandishly detailed and intricate with 10 million block types. Just about anyone could build a world the way you do over time, and it's inspiring. So again, thank you very much for the kind words, CBMX. I think one of the biggest things to take away from my world is that exactly what he said. None of this was done overnight. I have had this world for many, many years now, going on over five, and all of these builds, this is just one base on this world. I have a whole nother base that I don't think I've ever shown in the videos before, so we'll go over there uh, for the 5k world tour and download when we do that, but... All of this was done over time, right? Nothing was done overnight. And the biggest thing is that I just take my time with a lot of stuff. So 
uh, as we went through today. I like to try new different things. I like to experiment with different types of blocks, but at the same time, it's very important not to overdo it because when you start to overdo it, things become very mushy and it's hard to focus on certain design aspects. So uh, especially in a giant build like this, you can see I really haven't chosen all that many different block types. We have about the same five or six blocks being used throughout the whole thing. And that's kind of the same thing with all of my builds is I try to keep it minimal in a sense of not doing too much, but you want to do enough that it looks different and it looks cool. And I really take pride in doing a lot of that. And you can see that it with my house and all sorts of stuff like that. It's all about finding the right color balance and making things look attractive in a sense where there's a lot going on but not too much going on that's very important you never want too much going on very famous saying in the world many people have said before less is more anyways that's going to do it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed our build for today i'll walk us through one more time so you can see it here we have our ethereal castle garden. I really, really like how this turned out. I have wanted to have this here for a long time, so I'm glad I finally got around to doing it. So here we go. This is our castle garden. Really nice, really lovely. Uh, all sorts of different colors going on. Um, but mostly that white and pink is what I was going for. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Please be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. If you are new to the channel, we do check all of the comments and go over them at the end of the video like we did today. Uh, thank you to anyone who has donated. If you feel like you would like to donate and support the channel further, the link is in the description. You will get your name in a book, and if you donate $20, you will be assigned to a villager. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.